Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Last time we went over how to get started with Motion Canvas and my background when it comes to this domain. Today we are going to talk about yield and generators. So let's pick up where we left off. So in this tutorial, we're not going to need Motion Canvas anymore. So I'm going to close out of this tab. I'm going to close, stop the program from running. And let's make a new directory. I'm back out, make a new directory called generator, cd into generator, I'm going to open it up, open up a new ter terminal, I do have uh, a script running in the background that will always update brew when I open up a new terminal. Uh, don't worry about that. Let's see. Touch index. And here we go. So, what is a generator? A generator object is returned by a generator function, and it conforms to both the iterable program and iterable, iterator program. And a generator is a subclass of the hidden iterator class. Whoa, what is that? Um, so if I just start with what everyone knows already. So if I start with a const, I make an array. And let's say I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven things in the array. Forgot to set the equals. And if I wanted to loop through or iterate through the array, I could just use a simple for loop. Let i equals zero, array.length, and then i++, plus plus. we should all know this, and then console.log array from the ith position, and if I would run this, I am missing a very important part of the loop. See, now we only have, we've printed out the items in our array. And if I want to do some manipulations to the values, I can get a 0, 2, 4, 6, 8, well, basically looping through one each one of them, each iteration of the for loop, I am having my pointer uh, go down the line and starting with the zero. So, what about a, a generator? So if I have a generator function, let's call it a mount, mount equals function, the star means the generator function, And instead of a generator function, we have yields. Yields basically say, stop. Let something else work. Yield 200, let's say it's $200, or 200 puppies. We can have numbers, we can have letters, we can have whatever we want. It's single objects. So in this case, I can have a yield also JSON, and in here I can have items, and just a list of items, so I maybe have cars, trucks, planes, and similar to a an array, I can loop through them, const item, of amount, and I can go console.log, offset item, and where did I mess up, const item, oh, misspelled amount, there we go. 
So I have 100, 200, 300, and then my, my items here, my array. And it's just looking at it as a single item. Um, I can also just give it a array. And it looks at the array as a single item. But you might be asking, wait a minute, this doesn't make any sense. Well, what, what is the point of an array? What is the point of a generator? Sorry. I can go one, two, three, four. And actually, I can start with zero. Five. Six. And I can remove the times two. Zero, one, two, three, four, five, six. Zero, one, two, three, four, five, six. These are identical. The reason why they're identical is because this is an array, which is an iterable object, and this is a generator, which is an iterable object. These loop through and iterate the through the object itself. Now, one thing that we can also do is if I comment out the code so you don't get confused. Um, amount iterator. Let's say we have an iterator, and now we point it to the amount function. This would be considered a generator constructor. And now we have a reference to it. Let's just say amount iterator dot next. We can more easily control the flow. So if I, and then we can just like so, but using the next. And then once you get past the list, so then this here yield six, value six. Now the values are going to be undefined from here on out and done is true. We're done going looping through the stuff in the generator function. So essentially it's, hey, I have a list of items either here yielded or um, in here and I want to loop through them one by one. I can use the next function to um, reference the generator constructor, assign it to a variable. That variable um, is my function. It's a new instance of the generator class. I have my egg mount uh, iterator. My mount iterator can use the next function to go down all of the yields. Now, if we go back to uh, Motion Canvas, you can see that we don't have yield, we have yield star. What is that? What does that mean? If I comment out all of this for right now, and I have a few functions, let's say. I have a function letters, not ketters, letters. And I have some letters, let me go A. Let's go 
sure I can copy this. B, C, and I can have a function called numbers. It's a generator function. And I can have a yield, yield one, yield two, yield three, two, three. And let's say I wanted to have a function that references those functions. So I have another generator function. Let's just call it alpha numeric. yield letters okay I just want to print out letters I want to have yield star when referencing a another generator function or generator constructor uh, you need to use yield star letters. Let's say I want to go print out and then I want to print my numbers out and then yield star numbers and I want it to like above use the next function to see what I get. So when I first run this, I get an AN is not defined because I said AM, AN. So I get letters. Next is the function letters. If I don't use the yield, star, I get a generator object that is passed through. If I want to actually go into it, I can use yield star, and I can start going into here and yield. So this basically means wait and iterate everything through here. So if I wanted to go next, 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 next a bunch of times, you can see that goes letters and then letters, and then loops through letters, then prints out numbers, then loops through numbers, and if I wanted to have other things, I could. So what this is doing is saying that there is a function out there called all. All, if I hover over it, um, is a is of type thread generator, and allows me to just wait for all of these things to get done. We are passing two functions into this function, and it allows us to wait, do the animation, and then pick up where we left off. Um, essentially, yield provides a single value in an iterable or a stream. Yield star provides multiple values from an iterable or a stream. Besides the generator objects like we have looked at so far, yield star can also yield other kinds of iterables such as an array, strings, or arguments in a function. So if I have another yield star example, yield star, if I wanted to, let's say, put other, let me add a few more nexes. You can see that now we're iterating through the string itself. If I wanted to just print out the string, I can go yield and it will do an action down here, in this case printing out. If I wanted to actually iterate through the string and go through all the characters, 
I can go yield star. I can also just do an array. It goes one, two, three from up there, and then one, two, three again from here. Um, we can also iterate through the arguments as well in a function. And that's what this is doing. So if I wanted to have a function test, I could then I could then loop through the arguments. So I have test. There's that. So I can go for const arg of args yield arg const args equals one two three four const arg of test args and here I am looping through the different arguments. Or better, one, two, three. One, two, three. So I could have a function called test that I'm referencing. Test, and I can loop through it and print out this. Um, I can also test, modify this, and say let t equals test console.log t.next and I can print out the first item well there and you can get an idea for what all is doing for example, on how it has a bunch of these and it's looping through and yielding. I hope this tutorial helped and if you have any questions, please put them in the comment section below. If you like this kind of content, uh, like, comment, and subscribe. Next time we're going to continue with Motion Canvas and uh, Go through the tutorial a little bit more. Have a good day.